Hey guys, welcome back to another house to home vlog. It's Amber. I am so excited for this vlog today because I feel like it's been a hot little minute since I've done a little house to home vlog. The house projects are definitely picking up. Today we're gonna be hanging some Amazon picture lights upstairs in the hallway. And then I also wanna do like a little DIY project. I know like I am not a DIYer. I bought this bowl from Home Goods a while back and it was like kind of like scratched up. It just It's just not really that cute right now. I bought it for a discounted price so I really want to kind of like just revitalize it a little bit and just kind of spruce it up. So we're gonna do that project as well too. But it's been a little hot minute since I have created some content and filmed. So I am like just trying to get back into the gist of everything. But really quick, I just want to say before we get into today's vlog that I know that I have not been super consistent here on YouTube and it's because life has definitely just been happening. Bubbles has been sick for about two weeks or so and we had to make a really hard decision to put her down. Bubbles' death has definitely taken a toll on our entire family and she definitely will be missed sorely. I had Bubbles for about 13 years or so. She was my first ever pet. Like I grew up with her practically and she's been through so many transitions of my life and so you know, it has been really hard for me to just kind of go through that process of not having her anymore. If you guys have been following me for a really long time, you guys know that Bubbles literally like has been in like almost every video that I've filmed here on YouTube and she is definitely a big part of my life and a big part of my family's life as well too and so I just wanted to acknowledge that I had to take a break because y'all I cannot show up on camera just kind of being fake and acting like things aren't happening and it definitely was something that I was really sad about and so I just honestly didn't know how to show up on camera and just be okay without like crying so I am definitely a lot better now and you know even though I'm still sad about the loss of bubbles and you know and just her just being here with me you know, I know that she is definitely not suffering anymore and she's in a better place and I am just able to process it a lot better and just be a bit more okay. But yeah, I, I don't know. It's just kind of one of those things that like, we knew that it was coming towards the time of her just kind of leaving us and departing just because obviously dogs have a shorter life expectancy than humans but yeah it was definitely a lot harder than i thought it would be but i just wanted to tell you guys that just in case you guys are wondering like why hasn't she been really posting consistently i know that i made a post that i was gonna be uploading twice a week which that is still happening but I just need to take a break and just kind of regroup and gather myself before I came back on camera and post a video. So we are here, we are back up and running and I just, yeah, I just wanted to like throw that out there. Also shout out to my friends and my husband and everybody who has been so supportive with like just the transition of like just bubbles like life. My best friend actually got me this cute little necklace that says bubbles and my other really great friend too as well. She like got me a card and like a sweet note. Like everyone has been so sweet. Just like all the kind words. Um, I announced it on Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know, but I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been so kind and so sweet and all the sweet notes and messages and um, it really does mean a lot because like I said to know me is to know that I love my dog and I really cherished You know my dog and she was really important to me But anyway, I just wanted to say that but let's just go ahead and get into the home projects I want to show you guys really quick the lights that I ordered from Amazon. Okay, so here are the lights like I said, they're from Amazon. I'll link them down below. And I really did not want to go through the process of doing like any hard wiring in the like wall or anything like that. Actually, my dad is like an electrician, so he could have done it. But I just honestly, I just didn't want to go through that process because I'm also like, you know, what if I change my mind? I want to like easily be able to kind of just like take these down and maybe put something else or just like redo it all together. But to be safe, I just got these picture lights that are like remote battery powered. And so I'm excited to use these. This is what they look like. And they're gonna go above the pictures in the hallway, which I am excited y'all. These are too cute. I feel like it was just missing something. Like this is just so like plain. I mean, granted, 
the look is here, right? It like, I feel like sometimes less is more and you know, like the look is here. I think the pictures definitely elevated the hallway. Like, yes, it elevated the hallway. Like sometimes people don't really think about putting things in their hallway, but I feel like sometimes you need a little something something. But I definitely feel like it was missing like an extra detail. So I'm excited to see how these look. Like I said, I'll link everything down below in the description box, but I'm gonna get Dante to hang these. And yeah, we'll just see how they turn out. Look who I have with me. <laughs> okay, Dante is finally here. So we're gonna get these picture lights hung up really quick. Simple instructions, literally, like they're so simple. All you have to do is follow the instructions that come in the packet. It comes with a mounting bracket already and then also the screws that you need as well too. If you are not hanging this on a stud, I definitely recommend using these to make sure that you are actually like that it's sturdy and it's not like falling off of your wall. All right, the lights are up. They look so good and I'm so happy with it. Like I said, it just gives like the hallway a little like more like lighting and just kind of more character, but it comes with this remote. Each one of the lights come with its own remote, but I'm like, I only need one remote. And I mean, it's good that they have backups, but it comes with this remote and I can turn it off, turn it on. You can also like adjust the just settings of brightness. So you can like turn the brightness down and then also turn it up as well. So I love that. And then it has these settings on here too that if you wanna leave it on for like an hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, you can do that. So if you just press four hours, it'll bling like that and then it will turn off once it hits the four hour mark. So I like this a lot. I think this is just such a good alternative for just wanting these lights but not wanting to do the hard wiring for this because y'all like just trying to do all this and then not knowing if you actually like light the light in the long run or if you want to change it up i don't know like i said i could have easily done the hard wiring have my dad just do like all the wires and just do it for me but i just didn't really want to go that route so I don't know if I end up like really, really loving this over time. Maybe I will get the heart wiring, but for now I'm good with this and I just like this alternative. So this is a good alternative too if you're renting as well. So like I said, I'll link everything down below. All right guys, it's a couple days later and I am finally getting around to doing this DIY project. So I don't really need to do much to the bowl. I'll show you guys the bowl when I get home. I've seen a couple videos on TikTok already where people are using the acrylic paint and then mixing it in with the baking soda and it essentially gives it like that ceramic feel without paying you know a lot of money for a vase or you can just kind of customize it to whatever color that you want so i'm going to take you guys with me to hobby lobby okay here are the acrylic paint options they also have some options up here too so it's lots of options to choose from i don't know if i want to do like a cream color or black which is essentially the color of the bowl like, do I want to mix black and cream? They also have this dark chocolate, which I think would be really, really pretty. So, I think I'm gonna go with the dark chocolate vibe. Definitely need some paint brushes. Okay, y'all, I am back at the house. I want to show y'all the bowl really quick. So, this is the bowl. As you can see, it has like a lot of like scratches, dings. It's just not cute at all. And yeah, it just needs a facelift. So I was like, you know what? I know I'm not a DIY girl, okay? Like, I'm definitely not a DIY girl at all, but I was like, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to DIY something this year and like kind of step my DIY game up a little bit with some things, just some things, nothing crazy. But I love this DIY project. Like I said, I've seen it all over TikTok. So I was like, let me just try this. So let me show y'all what we're gonna do. All right, I'm definitely gonna lay this plastic bag down on the table before I start this project because I don't wanna get this paint everywhere. Plus it's gonna have to dry, so this should be good. Maybe I'm, I should probably get another one. Okay, I think having these two will be good. Also, got the acrylic paint like I showed you guys already. And then I also got these paint brushes as well. I need to tape the tag off. 
This tag is destroying this bowl. Like, I don't understand sometimes why retailers put certain tags on certain products. This is honestly destroying the product. By the way, I did get this bowl from Home Goods, and one of the things about Home Goods is when it's marked up like this, you definitely want to ask for a discount because they will give it to you. And in this case, it was just like really damaged. So I asked for a pretty good discount and they gave it to me. So I almost wonder, do I need to sand this first? But no, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna see how all this works. Okay, so all I'm doing is taking equal parts of baking soda and then I'll do equal parts of the paint. I got my paintbrush as well. So I just did two tablespoons to start off with. Ooh, uh, ooh, I like that a lot. Okay, the bowl is done and it is dry. Because I just used my blow dryer. I didn't feel like waiting, I was too impatient. But it dried really, really fast with the blow dryer. So highly recommend doing that if you wanna do this project. Or you can definitely let it air dry. It's completely up to you. But look how pretty this is. Oh my gosh. And I purposely left like little elements of the black kind of peeking through because I really wanted that. I just wanted that like nice, Still somewhat dark, but I don't know, just kind of like a little, little like vintage, rustic type of feel. I don't know why I'm doing this, y'all. But anyway, don't mind me, but I am obsessed. Like, look how pretty this is. Also, I think blotching it with the paper towel definitely helped to give it a little bit more texture. All I did was wet a paper towel and just blotched it around like you guys saw in the last clip. So. I highly recommend doing that if you want like a little bit more texture like this instead of just doing like the regular paint strokes because it won't really give it the texture that it needs if you don't blotch it a little bit so but i am so excited how this turned out it turned out so good but i am going to end the vlog here if you like this vlog be sure to hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next vlog bye